to the uh, halfway point here. You guys got enough energy to keep going? That's good. I like your reservation. Y'all ready for your next contestant, everybody? Excellent. Please welcome your next contestant in the Houston's Funniest Person Contest. Let's hear it for Ken Boyd. Ken Boyd. Swats a nigga love up. Ain't that a bitch. You know what your problem is? You're on that damn Facebook too damn much. That's why you... Saying that bullshit. It's the chocolate hour of the show. I really want y'all to pray for me while I'm up here, man, because I uh, almost converted to Islam on the way up here. It's a true story. No, I'm serious. I was, found myself in a conversation with one of the Muslims. He was talking to me, almost converted. I ain't almost convert because what he was saying, there's this simple fact that the nigga had a pistol on his side the whole time he was talking to me. He caught me off guard. He was like, brother, do you believe? Nigga, yes. They found out I couldn't grow no beard, he let me go. <laughs> you know, I find, I find myself dating white women more than black women recently, you know, because white women are a lot more pleasant than black women. Like, even when they turn you down in a club, like a young lady like this, if I step to her, if she don't like me, the way she'll turn me down is so pleasant, you know what I'm saying? So if I step, when I step up to a young lady, I like to sound intelligent, Make it sound like I got some sense. I'm using my ACC words, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Associate's degree attained, fuck with me. <laughs> Two year degree, took me four years to get the motherfucker, but I got it. I got it. So I step up to her, I be like, hey, hey, excuse me. How you doing, young lady? Hey, my name is Ken. I just want to let you know you're looking very dynamic this evening. <laughs> and if I could possibly acquire your telephone number so we can converse, not conversate, converse. You'll make me a happy man. But she'll turn the intelligent shit right back on me. She say, Ken, you're a very nice looking young man. You're very well spoken, but I'm spoken for. But I'm more than sure, Ken, if you approach any other woman the same way you just approached me, I'm more than sure you can get their telephone number and converse with them. You have a nice day, Ken. Be blessed. <laughs> well, you can't be mad if a chick tell you be blessed. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go back to your homeboys, your homeboys be like, yo, man, you get the number? Nah, I ain't get the number, but God is good. <laughs> Try that shit with a black woman. Black women wanna, black women want, they want everybody to see you crash and burn in the club. I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> they want everybody to see you fail. You know what I'm saying? I step, and they, they do this thing where you try to get their attention. Like, you ever try to get, a, a, like, a chick and she keep walking? I can tell just by looking at you, it happened to you before. <laughs> You try to get her attention, she keep walking. And me, I'm from the north side, I'm from a neighborhood called Trinity Garden. And when that happened, the HCC shit go out the window, and that's when the hood come out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to... Pass, I pass, pass. You know what I'm saying? I step up to a black chick, that's when the ACC shit go out the window, and that's when the Trinity Garden come out. I be like, hey, how you doing, young lady? Hey, where you going? Hey, I'm trying to say, bitch! <laughs> Turn into a stalker in the club. Hey, man, you seen that little bitch I was talking to? She like me, she just don't know it. <laughs> Y'all gotta realize something about me, man. Uh, I'm an 80s baby, man. I grew up 1985. Any other 80s babies in here, 80s baby? <laughs> Y'all so unproud. There's nothing, see, it's a, it's a different time. See, when I was growing up, it was a different type of black woman. Now the black women is different. Even though you look on Judge Joe Brown, the white women, you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> it's the white women, they so pleasant because they let each other finish their sentences. I ain't never seen no shit like this. You see two black women, it, it was, it's so, it's, it's a different show. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ever see this? Like, they'll cut the other person off or they'll start off saying something that ain't got shit to do with the case just to make the other person look bad. Judge Joe Brown will come up to him some, uh, yeah, so young lady, you say you let your friend borrow the car and she put a dent in your car. And young lady, you say the dent was in the car before she gave it to you. Now you tell me your side of the story. First of all, your honor, she's a hoe and she fucks everybody. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. One more time, everybody, for Ken Boyd. Let's hear it for Ken Boyd. We're moving on to the semifinals. And tonight.
tonight's winner, let's hear it for Ken Boy. <laughs> so I do appreciate all of you very much for coming out here, and I would like to say a very special thank you from the Houston County Union to the nice people here at the House of Blues for putting on this show tonight. Nice round of applause for the people here at House of Blues, everybody.